Let's go second spring scrimmage. Two scrimmages and then the official spring game for the Idaho State Bengals. The story offensively, at least highlight-wise for me, was Ja'Cory Ford. You see a couple rushes right here, and then he starts finding the end zone. Three times to be exact. You'll see all three of them around left, and then a little bit later, he, he's going a little bit further. How about 28 here going 78 yards. Great blocking up front, and then Ja'Cory turns on the speed and beats everyone into the end zone. Well done. Xavier Finney not playing in these full contact type of drills. So Ja'Cory getting the chance with the number one unit. That's the number one guy. There's his third touchdown of the game. Diving over the pile and into the end zone. Another touchdown rush came from Braden Mitchell, former Skyline Grizzly. The local kid powering his way into the end zone. Hard to see him, so we we'll give him a little bit of face time as he runs off the field. Two quarterbacks competing here in spring for that number one job. Again, Justin Arias is gone. Kramer says he won't name a starter until much later into the fall. We're looking at Tanner Geller here, number four. You saw him over to CJ Hatchett across the middle. That's the same spot this time to KW Williams. Down that sideline once again, and look at Madison Mangum go up and get this ball. Just doing what Madison Mangum does. You get another look at it in slow motion to appreciate the talent on display. Josh Cook had a couple nice grabs as well. The tight end catching passes from Geller. Here's one over the middle, then they go with that backside screen. That'll be the next play. And then he caught a touchdown pass as well. We caught it on camera, so we'll show it to you right here as the final pass from Geller, at least in this highlight. Touchdown to Josh Cook, rips it in between two defenders. The other quarterback, James Della Sensory. We've got a couple pass completions from him. Again, the battle to replace Justin Arias, another quarterback, a transfer coming in a little bit later. So it'll be a battle all the way into fall. There's Della Sensory to Cole Robinson, and then it's 80 once again on the receiving end of this pass from Della Sensory. Great catch down the sideline. Tucker Louie McGee is a name that we've never really called before. Young kid wears number 17 with the, the nice hair flowing out the back there. He's got not one, but two catches here. Again, quarterback battle should be a very interesting storyline all the way into fall camp. How about defensively? For me, it was Micah Breeland making at least the spectacular plays today. He goes and makes a catch. He had not one, but two interceptions on the day. That's the one we caught on camera. And then he also did this twice, and this is just about as impressive as that interception. Goes up and swats away the ball. Look at it again in slow motion. Micah Breland is the name, getting up and knocking it down. How about as far as special teams are concerned? As, as a former kicker, you know I love to give love to these type of guys. Sean Chaney is the new punter for Idaho State, bombing kicks down the field. This was the best of all of them. He also had one where he pinned the uh, defense inside the 20. Well done, Sean Chaney, your new punter for ISU. A kid that kicked last year and made a lot of big kicks is Zach Johnson. How about 50 yards from him? He's got enough leg to drill it over the field goal post. And then he had two more field goals on the day. We captured both of them. Zach Johnson booting it through the upright. Offense, defense, and special teams. We covered it all in the spring scrimmage. Well, we avoided a lot of negative plays. You know, last week we had 16 sacks, 16 negative plays. We had five drops. We had uh, four penalties. We threw two picks and lost three fumbles. So we threw some picks today, but we did we fumbled and we fumbled a couple times. But overall, we we played much better on offense, and that's a that's a tribute to our offensive staff just grinding away. It also shows you the relative youth that we have at quarterback and experience. These guys were not as nervous today as they were last Saturday. Why were they better today? Well, I just think added reps. You know, they, they looked at the video from last week and said, if I play like that, I'm probably not going to play here. And uh, I thought both guys played a lot. It really helped us offensively to move uh, Trey Pilstrom out of slot. And he'll stay there and be the third quarterback in our organization. So some personnel changes that helped us a little bit also. Uh, much better than the first. You, uh, you definitely see improvement on both sides of the ball, offense, defense. Um, the offensive line and the quarterbacks on the same page. It looks like the defense in the right position. So I feel like we're definitely getting better. We're definitely improving.